ulit. <laughs> Hi friends! Kumusta kayo? I'm attorney Elena Tonya Bordeaux and we're live here sa ating Facebook page and this is going to be uploaded sa ating YouTube channel, Attorney E Immigration Lawyer. Today's topic, we're gonna uh, go over the visa bulletin for February of 2024. Ginagawa ko to, um, not all the time, but whenever I can, para dun sa mga matagal na naghihintay and they wanna hear good news. Okay, so there's also a way that you can go sa online para makita nyo tong visa bulletin. So this is not, you know, something that only lawyers can see. But I'm going to explain to you what's going on and then yun sa mga, you know, people who are wondering what happened to their visa applications, even though they submitted everything to the National Visa Center. Ito po, I will explain that. Before that, I want to introduce myself. My name is Attorney Elaine Antonio Bordeaux. I'm based in the U.S. I've been practicing U.S. immigration law for 15 years. Long time ago, I left the Philippines. I was also a very young lawyer, and then I migrated to the United States. I went to law school here, so Loyola in New Orleans, and became a lawyer. And I dedicated my practice of 15 years to helping yung mga immigrants po. So, sabi ko nga for the year 2024. So, by the way po, I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Kasi yung ating YouTube channel, we have almost 6,000 uh, subscribers na. So, uh, nagpapasalamat po ako because... Uh, Doon sa channel natin, we're able to help people, especially yung mga nangangailangan ng tulong at naging complicated ang kanilang mga immigration process. And also, um, sabi ko, for this year 2024, I want to focus on family, I want to focus on uh, women, on empowering women, and that includes uh, sharing information on what to do. Ayan. Kung sakaling hindi nag-work out ang yung mga petisyon. You know, by the way, ang Pilipina po pala, ang Pilipinas, tayo ang number one na producer ng fiancé visa. Okay? Uh, dahil tayo mga Pilipina ay ano, magaganda daw. Totoo ba yun? <laughs> and uh, and uh, marami, like for Americans, marami pong mga Americans that they want to marry a Filipina kasi yung family values, you know. So, uh, in time mga Filipina daw ay very, ano, mapagmahal. Kaya nga, marami tayong nagpupunin. Hindi lang Filipina, no? Filipinos din. And uh, even yung mga same-sex marriages now, marami rin po mga same-sex marriages na mga uh, Americans and then Filipinos. Of course, I'm a U.S. immigration lawyer and ang pinag-uusapan po natin ay U.S. immigration law. Okay, so, minsan ay, uh, you know, okay, everything, tapos pagdating po sa US ay hindi naman po nag-work out. Yun. And marami tayong mga kababayan, especially, na din, you know, since I started doing this uh, podcast or video or vlog, ay marami nag-reach out sa atin, mga fiancé, mga asawa, and uh, hindi po naging successful ang kanilang marriage and they're in the process. Yung iba ay totally hindi na petition. Yung iba ay naging abused. And so what I want to do actually is to uh, give information so that we can empower them. ba? Ang information po, napakalaking tulong niyan when you know what to do. It doesn't matter kung ano yung sitwasyon mo. When you know what to do, ay pwede kang makaahon dun sa situation nyo. And how do you get that? You have to get the right information. Okay, so ang aking message for the day daw, today is a great day. So meron akong meta quest. I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> Parang ano na to, every year, <laughs> yung aking New Year's resolution na hindi matapos-tapos. <laughs> At uh, so, so we purchased this tong meta quest, diba? So you wear this, tas po pwede kang you know, marami kang pwede maging exercise and maraming games. So, para enjoy na enjoy ako every morning. And I feel like it's really helping me. So, uh, I feel like I'm losing weight. Tingnan natin. <laughs> After one month, two months. 
But anyway, sabi na sa video, ang message sa akin is, today is a good day. Yeah. So that's the, that's the message that I want to impart to everybody. So whatever you're going through, mga challenges, kung ano man ang meron ka sa buhay mo ngayon, isipin mo, today is a good day. Okay? When you think about that, and then you say that, today is a great day, pag mo pa lang sa umaga, you know what? Ang mangyayari, it's going to be a great day. Pero pag sinabi mo, oh, today is going to be a bad day. Ayan. You know what happens? Today is going to be a bad day. <laughs> so, meron kang choice whether today is going to be a good day or today is going to be a bad day. For me, I'm choosing that today is going to be a good day. Or today is a good day. Today is a great day already because everything is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Uh, yun yung message natin. So whatever you're going through, you know, um, you know, think that it's gonna be a good day or it is a good day. It's going to be a good day, whatever it is. Let go. Let go of all the problems. Let go of all the toxicity in your life. Let go of all your distractions and then let God. <clears throat> so let go and then let God. Okay? <clears throat> Ang aking pong uh, bosses dahil sa aking asthma. Pero it's a good day. <laughs> Alright, so for the visa bulletin po, I, uh, we're gonna talk about that. How do you get the visa bulletin? You just Google visa bulletin February 2024. Para po ito dun sa mga may preference categories, meaning hindi mga anak ng US citizen na below 21 or hindi asawa ng US citizen. Because if you're married to a U.S. citizen or if you're a child below 21 unmarried, hindi ka tumitingin dito sa chart na to. Ito lang yung mga naghihintay. Okay? Alright, so, meron akong, ano, last episode, I talk about uh, the difference when the petitioner is a U.S. citizen versus a green card holder, especially kung meron kayong mga anak na... Uh, malapit na mag-21. Ayan. So, ini-encourage ko kayo na mag-US citizen. Okay? Kasi lalo na may mga anak because pag ang bata ay pag-US citizen ka, ni-sponsor mo anak mo kahit 20 years old na yon, hindi siya uh, nag-overage or nag age out. Okay? Alright. So, let's talk about the visibility. And, ano po, mga kaibigan, we're gonna post this sa ating YouTube channel, Attorney E. Immigration Lawyer. Okay, let's start po. With, so, the, how do you get this? I-Google nyo lang, Visa Bulletin, February 2024. And then, uh, it will take you to the Department of State website. Okay? Alright. Sarap ng kape. So, manga. <laughs> okay. So, F1 category, ito yung unmarried child ng U.S. citizen. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So, unmarried child ng U.S. citizen. Tama po, ha? F1 category is unmarried child of U.S. citizen. Ito yung mga nag-21 and over nung na-petition. Okay, so nag-21 and over na nung na-petition. F1 category, sa Philippines, ang priority date na sinuserve ng NBC ay April 22, 2015. So what do you do kung ang yung priority date ay, ay before this date? On or before April 22, 2015, expect na makakatanggap ka na ng notification from the National Visa Center or kung wala ka pang natatanggap, you may contact them. How do you contact them? Uh, you can go online, National Visa Center Inquiry and VC Inquiry and then, you know, you have to provide yung case number, yung information on petitioner, yung information on beneficiary and then ask them to send you the invoices, Okay. Sabihin mo malapit na ang priority date mo. So right now for F1, ito yung unmarried child 21 and over ng U.S. citizen ay April 22, 2015. Yan. Tapos yung F2A, ito naman yung mga petitioners ay green card holders. 
So green card holders, I um, petitioner yung F2A and then F2B. Sa so F2A, yung child and spouse. Pag sinabi natin na child sa immigration, ito yung below 21 years old. Okay? Tapos, um, F2B naman, ito yung 21 and over unmarried child ng isang green card holder. Ang pinaprocess sa F2A ay September 1, 2023. This is not bad. F2B naman. October 1, 2013. Ayan. Okay. And then, para naman doon sa mga married sons and daughters ng U.S. citizen ay November 8, 2003. Yung mga brothers and sisters naman, April 22, 2004. Okay. Uh, doon sa visibility, when you go there, makikita nyo may apat na bansa. Yung China, China India, Mexico, and Philippines. Kasi tayo yung apat na bansa na maraming mga applications. So tayo yung may mga behind ang ano, ang, you file it pero hindi pa rin napaprocess. <coughs> okay? Tapos yung isang uh, isang uh, column ay all chargeability meaning yung ibang, ibang bansa naman other than these four countries. So the way you look at it, go to Visa Bulletin, itype nyo yung month, February 2024 and then you will find here your chart B. Chart B is the dates for filing yung family sponsorship. Nandun din po yung employment visa, but we don't really talk about that here. Okay? So we only talk about family petitions. And then, so ang tanong, attorney, bakit ganun? Na-submit na namin lahat ng aming submits, pero hindi pa uh, makakuha ng interview sa Philippines what's going on okay so let's look ito po yung F2B ay 21 and over anak na isang green card holder na walang asawa hindi po ang yung anak na walang asawa hindi yung green card holder so green card holder yung anak niya ay 21 and over unmarried Ang pinaprocess po ngayon sa NBC, October 11, 2013. Pero, when you look at chart A for F2B, October 22, 2011. So, atrasado sila. Okay? So, meaning, pwede pong i-process na sa National Visa Center, but it doesn't mean na mabibigyan agad ng interview appointment. Mas marami ang qualified so, makakatanggap po kayo, after you submitted everything to the National Visa Center, di ba doon sa National Visa Center, you will submit the immigrant visa application, you will submit the affidavit of support, and then the supporting documents. And I even say na ang National Visa Center has more requirements than the I-130 petition. <laughs> Kasi nandun yung affidavit of support, and then your immigrant visa application, and then the, the NBI, doon din po sinasubmit, di ba? And uh, kung yung tao ay tumira sa iba't ibang bansa, like yung mga OFWs po natin na minsan ay, you know, they work in other countries, ay marirequire din sila to get yung parang uh, clearance nila, yung criminal background check. So, mas marami pong sinasubmit sa NBC. After you submitted everything, everything is good. So, sa padadalan ka ng notification ng NBC na documentarily qualified na ang petition. Okay, as of this time, it doesn't mean na may interview na sila agad because nga, behind nga po ang, uh, ang embassy. Sabihin nila na hinihintay yung uh, embassy para po mabigyan kayo ng appointment. Okay, so ang ginawa kong example, yung F2B, October 11, 2013, do sa chart A. Okay, so you may mga priority date na on or before you can start processing your you know, you'll get an invo um, invoices and you have to pay that in order to be able to upload your documentations. After you submitted everything, documentarily qualified ka na. Pagdating mo dito sa chart 8, October 22, 2011 pa. ba? So, um, yan po. <laughs> yan ang ating situation sa Philippines because marami pong applications from the Philippines. And ang ating um, 
visa ay limited po ang visa. Alright, so kahit sumulat ng sumulat sa embassy, the best way is to look at this to know. Okay po? Alright, so yan po ang ating visa bulletin. If you want to schedule an appointment with me, mag-email po kayo ev at eboardlaw.com or mag-text 713-315-7793. And I wanna... I want to invite all of you pala sa July kasi po ako po ay isang sculptor and I've been posting this sa YouTube and we have traveled sa Europe <coughs> last year for the exhibition that ngayon po ay madadala po natin ito sa San Francisco and we want to thank our consulate sa San Francisco for letting us, uh, for hosting itong ating Courage Exhibition. Ito po ay exhibition ko na ipinapakita ko po yung aking mga obra na sculptures. And of course, ang subject po nito ay ang aking Philippine heritage, ang buhay ko sa Amerika, dito sa Colorado, and yung mga courageous and iconic people. Katulad ni Lapu-Lapu, ni Apo Wang Od, uh, ni Jose Rizal, ni Dr. Jose Rizal. So we're gonna be in San Francisco po ngayong July. Pakiabangan po, invite your friends. And sa Prague naman po, sa Czech Republic, we're gonna be hosted by Castle, Lito, by the Little Meritsi town. Very uh, historical po ang town na ito because it was visited by Dr. Rizal. Doon po nakatira si Ferdinand Blumentritt. He, uh, and uh, his, he was a professor in that town, very well known, very well respected. And Rizal was actually respected in that town and well received. Same town po uh, will actually host my exhibition. Kaya po masayang masaya tayo. And then after that, <laughs> sana po ay sa Frankfurt, Germany. So we're finalizing the dates. Para po ang exhibition ay tatawid na lang pumuntang Germany. I think it's about 4 hours to go to Germany from 4 to 6 hours. So dadali na lang namin yung exhibition from Czech Republic to Germany. <clears throat> Ayun, sana po next year ay uh, madali naman natin ang exhibition natin sa Philippines and sa Asia po. Ayun po, and I want to invite everybody. Yung mga hindi pa po nagla-like or nagsa-subscribe, please do. And uh, sa ating YouTube, meron tayong attorney e immigration lawyer. You can ask questions dun sa comment, ha? pero don't put personal information, don't put anything... Don't put your case number. If you want to have a private consultation with me, mag email po kayo, eb at eboard law, or mag text 713 315 That's it for today. So just remember, today is a good day. Yan ang message natin. Let go and then let God. Let go and let God. Ako po si Attorney Elaine. Till next time. Thank you.